are you ready to finally put an end to strong power in Madden 15 or Madden 25? I don't know. Well, you know what we're playing. Guys, uh, welcome back. My name is Cody, and today we are showing you how to stop the run in Madden 25 once and for all. This is the run defense. IMO. The run defense to stop. Strong power. Buck sweep. Quick toss. Off tackle from strong, strong close. We got them all caged. And we got them caged both ways. Here we're going to show you trips tight in slot. We're going to show you the buck sweep. And then we'll show you the strong power after that. Buck sweep, fairly simple uh, play here. Uh, one, qu we're gonna obviously we'll set up our roster the way we're gonna set it up in game. But uh, real quick, let me get that popping. Got Atkins, I'm gonna have. I have a, I have your boy Pecco or Pico or Pucho. Your boy Dunlap. All right, there is that. Got Hall over there. Okay, we're ready. All right, so the play is, and this is only out of the 335. I have not found this play in any other formation, and I've only found it in very uh, specific 335 books. So you're going to need to make sure that this book that we're actually using today comes from the Kansas City playbook. Okay, so cat blitz two roll. That's the play. Who would have thought a corner blitz would stop the run? Anyways, guys, cat blitz two roll. Here's what you're going to do. You're going to you're going to do the same exact setup we just did on our base play. Base align. Shift your defensive line to the right. You do not crash your defensive line down on this play. You have to leave those blitz angles. Spread your linebackers. Globally re-blitz your right of screen outside linebacker. And have fun running that buck sweep on me now, boys. That was the worst like example, and they held them to five. Okay, That's worst case scenario. If nobody gets off their block, that's what will happen. Now we'll show you. Once again, we'll show it to you again. Now we're not using anybody. We're using the defensive tackle because I can't use her all. I can't use her everything. But here you see, I'm trying to run a buck sweep. I get wide, and I have to cut back inside because of that guy on the outside. Now watch what happens when we use her. The safety in the deep blue. So watch what happens when I take control of Nelson and bring him in the box. You got the plus one. Ugh, so stupid. It's so freaking hard to use her, this crap. I'm telling you guys it works. I promise you. I just played a game, and the guy literally ran buck sweep all game, and I destroyed him. But it's hard to, like, show you here because you have to use her everything. Snap the ball, and we just get wide. There it is. There it is. Okay? And that's what's supposed to happen every single time. Okay? We'll show it to you one more time. But typically that will happen like nine times out of ten. Very rarely do they actually break it, and you actually even have to make a user play. But you just get out wide, and you see the contain and the flow coverage, and you're holding it to three, four. Uh, and that's that's what I would, you know, that's what I would be fine with that, uh, you know, with buck sweep. So there's buck sweep. Now we're going to show you. Actually, let me show you what happens here. Let me just show you break it down. So the idea is this corner blitz will always break the tackle of the wide receiver. He's going to blow up that guard. He's going to force that back, outside or inside. He's going to have to choose. And typically if and, – and also what normally happens is this. You see this linebacker here. Typically he'll actually block shed and get out there. The buck sweep was actually harder to stop than the strong power uh, because you have three tight ends over there. But, um, I mean, there you see it. Okay. So that's what the idea is. And let me show it to you one more time because I really want to show it to you like when it really like cages the run. Like – there are examples that I've like had with this thing where it literally will just cage it. Oh my bad, guys! I think I forgot to tell you. You had to reblitz Pico. I think that's right. No, that's still saying it's still all right. But um, anyways, guys, let me just recap the setup. Baseline, uh, shift your line to the right, spread your linebackers. You can reblitz your right outside linebacker if you want to, and then if you really want big time run defense, bring Nelson down in the box. Play that inverted cover two and just get wide with him. Set the edge. Get out there. We got caught up on our freaking tackle, but whatever. And uh, that will cage that run. So now I want to show. I mean, guys, this is a, from a cover two look as well. So they're not going to throw those stupid fades and stuff like that that everybody likes to do. They're not going to do that because they don't have that read. That's an off coverage read. Uh, but because we are in a cover two D, they won't throw that. Now we're going to show you strong power. Okay. So strong power is the same basic thought process. Baseline, 
shift your line to the right, spread your linebackers. You can re-blitz them if you want. Bring Nelson down to the box. And whatever side they run to, you set. Uh, you got to get out wide and finish it up just in case. And there you see that's what optimal is. And we're going to actually have our depth chart set up so that that uh, corner is actually going to be a safety who has good hit power. And you'll see, I mean, this is what's supposed to happen every single time. Every single time. That corner is supposed to fight in. Now, if the corner gets caught up, you've seen over the last couple of times when the quarter gets caught up, you've got the safety coming down and you've got your user player coming down to wrap it up. So... You're, you're, you'll still be all right even if that corner doesn't come off, okay, because of the fact that you've got the two users down in the box. So here, the you know, even if the cornerback doesn't come off, you'll blow it up in the backfield anyway, okay. So here, let me show you. The strong power is actually, like I said, it's a lot easier to stop than the buck sweep here. I'm going to actually not even use her. I'll just use her as a tackle here, uh, Pico. And you'll see, I mean, we typically are able to stop it. There you see it again. I mean, typically able to stop pistol ace fairly easily but the problem with pistol ace is they can run it both ways which is why you have to do all the shifts uh, that I say to do now here's what happens when they run it to the left side you see that right there that's what happens right there let me show you that and we're actually gonna have a safety on the other side as well so that they can block shit and make the tackle even better but watch what happens here watch the center you see this Geno Atkins is gonna come through every single time what that does is it forces the run wider it takes away the pulling guard Max Unger's blocking no one the center I mean if you're using that middle linebacker or whoever you're using you can get wide with him and you can still have even another guy over there all they and literally always gonna have that plus one advantage because of that defensive tackle you could actually be at a plus two advantage if you user controlled anybody so here we'll watch this time again, and if I wanted to, like, say we were doing what we were just doing, we brought Nelson down the box, okay, and they're going to run it now, but now they're going to say, okay, we're getting savvy, and we're going to want to run the ball opposite because you've been showing you can stop it to the right. Watch what happens. Once again, he gets out there wide. You get over there with your user player, and Sean Williams will come clean it up. Almost clockwork every single time. You don't pat. You don't have to pass commit out of this either. You can if you want to. Um, I haven't experimented as much with the pass commit. I just know that this run, uh, this blitz angle, does a really nice job. And I mean, the the blitzing angle does a nice job there. I don't know what the freak computer did some glitchy crap and cut it back like a boss. Even though you can't cut the run back in this game, but. Uh, I mean, you see, I mean, we've got it. It's right here. I mean, this is the best that I have found uh, to stop the run. Here they run it to the left side. I get my safety out there wide, and Newman will block shed off that in the actual uh, in the actual uh, game because that won't be Newman over there. That will be a safety that has high uh, block shed. But the, the key is that the, those blitz angles from that cat blitz to roll. Other corner blitzes don't have those same angles, and so that's why they don't work as well. So that is how I stop this run. Uh, for the most part, I typically – uh, now I've been holding a lot of the running game down. Uh, and then here we'll show you one other play and uh, one other popular run that a lot of people like to use. Uh, the strong close halfback off tackle. It's a pain in the neck to stop. Uh, and here is the same exact play, same exact setup. Nothing changes. Cat blitz two roll, base align, shift your line to the right. Um, spread your linebackers you can re that right of screen outside linebacker if you want to and you can bring that safety down as well and I mean you'll see here just completely cages the strong close off tackle uh, here let's see let's try to take control of the offense and show you what happens if they use her now what's cool is you can like stand over the middle here and, and if they try to cut it back you can kind of be there um, but uh, this is just a really good run defense guys I think it's you know I think it is one of the better ones I mean it's it's a little more aggressive, but if you use YY cushion coverage, it becomes fairly uh, fairly safe and does a good job at stopping the best runs in the game. So those are the top three runs in Madden 25 uh, that we just faced. And you saw, I mean, they only broke one for maybe eight yards was the most they got. And uh, I think that's doing pretty good, especially when the fact that we're going to, you know, put those safeties at corner, help them come up the block. It's a really great play, guys. Hope you don't sleep on this front defense. Don't try to hate on it. Try it out in game for yourself. Let me know if it works. Let me know if it doesn't work so that I can work on something else. But I think this is the best run defense in Madden 25, in my opinion. Uh, it stops every single 
run that I've had troubles with stopping the season, and uh, I think it's I think it's the best one. So check that out, guys. If you think that this is one of the greatest videos ever, or that I'm just the smartest man in the world, or you just think that I am so humble that you would love to uh, see more of my content, hit that subscribe button below. It really helps me out, and I think it, I hope I hope that it really helps you out as well. So thanks, guys. We'll talk to you guys tomorrow with a uh, man blitz tomorrow. We got a man blitz coming to you. Can't wait to break that down.